Hi everybody, very good morning. This is me, Vinu Venkatesh again on behalf of Sai Education for Comparative Examinations. I do hope you have been practicing the problems and I hope you're on top of things. So we're going to start a new chapter today. It's called Probability. Uh, it's a very important topic. So uh, please pay attention and let's get started. So probability means what? Probability means the possibility of something occurring. Okay. There is a formula for calculating the probability of something occurring. It is the sum of the observations divided by possibility or favorable condition or the condition that we are looking for divided by the total condition. We will we'll see how it works. Okay. For example, in a toss of one coin, find the probability of head. Now, we know that coin is made up of two sides, right? One side is called the head, which has the face. The opposite side is called the tail. So in one toss of the coin, you know toss, coin toss, like in cricket what they do, toy and toss to find out who's going to bowl or bat. Uh, we want to know the probability of head, of getting one head. So what are the total possible outcomes? It can be one head or it can be a tail. So the total possible outcomes are two. How many times can you get a head in one toss? It is one, obviously. It can either be a head or a tail. So, favorable condition here is the number of times we can get a head in one times we can get a head in one toss. It is one divided by the total number of times or the total possible outcomes or the total conditions, which is two. Why is it two? Because the coin, uh, the coin toss can give us either a head or a tail. So, it is two. All right. So this is how you find the probability. Okay, moving on to question number two. In a simultaneous toss of two coins, find the probability of two tails. Okay, now we have two coins. See, um, so what are the possible outcomes? You, okay, let us write it down. So coin one and coin two. Okay, this is question number two. So in the first uh, toss, like when you toss the both coins, it's possible that you will get both heads, right? Or head, tail, both tails, or you can get tail and head. These are the four possible outcomes, correct? So what is the probability that you will get both tails? That is a question. Only one time this will occur. See? Therefore, the probability will be 1 by 4. That is total number of times the desired outcome occurs, which is 1. And the total outcomes of that experiment. This kind of a toss is called an experiment. Okay. They have also given a, um, uh, a formula. See, if there is one coin and there is one total condition. Condition means um, toss in this case. Then the total number of outcomes will be 2 raised to 1. Why is this 2 here? Because 2 is the total number of outcomes in one toss. Okay. Suppose if there are two coins and you toss both coins at the same time, you toss both coins at the same time, then the total number of outcomes will be 2 raised to 2. The, this 2, the exponent 2 refers to the number of tosses or the number of coins. Now instead of having two coins, this is the same, this will be the same answer if we say one coin is tossed twice understood so similarly you can use this formula as well but i would prefer you understand what you're doing and then use the formula now look at number three in a simultaneous toss of three coins find the probability of all heads first find the to total number of outcomes using this formula it is two raised to three three is the number of coins or you can say it is number of tosses and Two refers to the number of uh, outcomes in one toss so 2 raised to 2 cube is equal to 8 okay so write it down try and write it down and what is the probability that all are heads there's only one time that such a thing will occur all heads or it can be all tails or one tail two heads and so on so the probability of all heads of, of getting all heads is 1 divided by total number of outcomes is 8 See, try and write this down. I know in the exam you will not have the time to do it. But when you're studying, when you're practicing, try to write it down. Okay. 
so that you will not go wrong at the same time know this formula all right now in a simultaneous toss of three coins find the probability of exactly two heads okay so it's the same question total number of outcomes is two cube which is eight exactly two heads look at all the possible outcomes it is one two and three so it is three by eight okay number five in a single throw of two dices sorry the probability of getting a total of three or five now same principle okay now let us work it out now one die or one dice has six faces right dice is what we play with it has six faces suppose if i throw i may get number five sometimes you may get six so it has uh, on each face of the die there are numbers one two three four five six so it has six faces one die has six faces which means six possibilities or six outcomes okay therefore total number of outcomes in one throw of two dices is equal to total number of outcomes in one throw of one die raised to number of dices or number of throws here it is number of dices so it is 6 raised to 2 it is 36 like what we did here remember okay now they are asking what is the possibility of getting a total of 3 or 5 now let this be in the first throw let dice let the first die be give you 1 if the second die gives you 2 then your total is 3 in the first throw or in your throw uh, it could be 2 you will get number 2 in the first die and number 1 in the second die can we get any other possibilities no because everything else will be greater than 3 this can be 3 there is no 0 here so this will be more than 3 if this is 4 then again it will be some number will be there here in the second die and it will again be more than 3 so only 2 more than 3 so only 2 possible outcomes ok Similarly, what, how many outcomes can we get such that the total of the number that you get on die 1 and die 2 is equal to 5. It can be 2 in the first die, 3 in the second one or 3 and 2. It can be 4 and 1 or 1 and 4. Therefore, we have 4 possible outcomes. Okay. So, whenever in probability they ask you how many out, what is the possibility of getting either 5 or 3 of, as the sum or whenever there is or it is always plus if and is given it is multiplication we will see that ok so 2 by 36 is the number of is the probability of getting a sum of 3 on both the dices 4 by 36 is the sorry 2 by 36 plus 4 by 36 which is the total number of which is the probability of getting a sum of 5 on the two dices which is equal to 6 by 36 or if you simplify it is 1 by 6 okay now remember or whenever you are getting questions involving or you have to use plus when you get questions relating to and you have to use multiplication okay you will we will see that okay so number 6 is very similar to 5 I would I want you to do it on your own I have told you how to do it it's similar so please try it out number 7 one card is drawn at random from the well shuffled pack of 52 cards you know cards the playing cards you play rummy bank and all that what is the probability of picking a black card okay we have to understand cards now like coins we have to talk about cards in a pack of cards you will always have 52 cards okay half of which are red that is 26 and the remaining 26 are black what do we mean by red red means all the cards with hearts and diamonds right they total 26 of which 13 are hearts 13 are diamonds similarly there are 26 black of which 13 are spades and 13 are clover we know that we have all played cards right so the total is 52 now the, here they are asking for the probability of picking a black card. So what are the total number of outcomes? It is 52. Suppose if I pick up a card, how many, how many cards are there? Like how many outcomes are there? How many total possibilities? 52. Among 52, how many blacks are there? 26. So the probability of picking a black card is nothing but total number of black cards divided by total number of cards which means of the 52 cards there are 26 cards so i have 
26 by 52 percent probability or 1 by 2 which is equal to 50 percent probability let's pick uh, the eighth one what is the probability of picking a ace of spades or jack of diamond okay now let us do this together ace of spades or jack of diamond ace of spades so there is only one so now remember it is or so ace of spades is equal to 1 by 52 jack of diamond is also 1 by 52 therefore ace or jack is equal to 1 by 52 plus 1 by 52 which is 2 by 52 or 1 by uh, 16 sorry 1 by 26 understood is that correct it is correct yay okay now ace of spades now we know the total number of outcomes is 52 how many ace of spades are there obviously there is one in each of these classes you have ace you have one king one ace one king one jack one queen then you have numbers from 1 to uh, 1 to 12 right 1 to 10 or something or 1 to 9 I don't remember exactly so each of these has only each of these classes has only one of ace one of jack of diamonds so therefore ace of spades let me call this ace of spades as or and jd is just 1 by 52 similarly jack in the diamond class is also just only one so it is 1 by 52 so what is the probability of finding ace of spade or jack of diamond it is 1 by 52 plus 1 by 52 which is 2 by 52 or 1 by 26 after you simplify okay you will get the idea the more you practice you will understand how to approach a question all right but keep practicing and understand what you're doing all right so that brings us to the end of lecture for today we'll continue next class uh, we have a few more questions to do so please uh, practice because if you don't practice you're not going to understand anything um, please uh, you know message me your questions or put them in the comments um, the more you practice the better you get and particularly with probability it you always have to practice so uh, uh, please do that and uh, see you next time take care and all the best